Morning ESM. My name is Katie. And I'm Isaac. Last Saturday, the statewide plastic ban, ban took effect. Most people have already heard of this ban, but there is still a lot they don't know. How does this affect the environment, corporations in New York, and most importantly, you? We'll find out more after news and announcements. Yesterday, Brandon Flurry of California was sentenced to prison for cyberstalking and harassing family members and friends of the victims of the Parkland shooting. Flurry was convicted of interstate transmission of a threat to kidnap and interstate cyberstalking. Flurry used 13 different Instagram accounts to send threatening messages to his victims. He threatened to kidnap them and kill them with an AR-15, the same weapon used in the shooting. Flurry said he purposely targeted parents and he considered activists to gain popularity online. Prosecutors requested the maximum sentence of 20 years, but he will be only serving 66 months. New York shoppers and consumers are beginning to feel the effects of the plastic bag ban, which was signed into effect by Governor Cuomo just last March. With this ban charging an extra five cents per plastic bag used, some stores are not even providing plastic bags for use at all. This law was put in place to protect wildlife and the environment in New York State, which uses about 23 million plastic bags on average every year. In order to alert the public of this sudden change, Governor Cuomo released a new campaign called BYO Bag NY to promote the use of reusable bags. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Senior Variety Show will be meeting in the evening all this week from 7 to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Please be there. The more of you who are involved, the better the show will be. <coughs> Juniors interested in helping plan the prom this year should plan on attending a meeting this Wednesday after school in B7. Want a little magic in your life? Come see Spartan Stage production of Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella this Thursday, March 5th, Friday, March 6th, and Saturday, March 7th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium with an, with an additional matinee performance on Saturday at 2 p.m. Tickets are reserved seating and can be purchased at esm.booktickswithanx.com. As most of you likely already know, New York has placed a statewide ban against the use of plastic bags. New York is the second state in the U.S. to ban plastic bags. In 2016, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, we use over 380 billion plastic bags yearly, and according to the Earth Policy Institute, around 1 million bags are used annually worldwide, give or take. Obviously, this is a problem. The use of plastic bags is a massive detriment to our environment. A lot of wildlife are known to get stuck in and eat plastic bags, including a lot of marine life. After bags are disposed into the ocean, sea turtles and other marine species can mistake them for jellyfish and eat them. So what can be done about this? Banning plastic bags isn't an instant remedy to all climate change and pollution, but it's a step in the right direction. A moment like this can help. The ban will drop the number of plastic bags entering the ocean and it will get the ball rolling for future environmentally conscious movements. We'll talk about the public's response to this after weather. cloudy with some rain. The temperatures will be in the upper 40s with lows in the mid 30s. Wednesday we'll have some snow changing into rain later in the afternoon and Wednesday we'll have a high of 41. Thursday and Friday we'll have clouds with some precipitation. This weekend will be mostly sunny with some snow. I'm Amber with your weather.
Senior Variety Show will actually be meeting after school every day this week. Uh, later on, we will start to go more. Uh, this ban is ban affecting both grocery stores and their customers alike. We spoke with Sean, a manager at Wegmans. Sean said that he expects to save a lot of plastic bags as well as a lot of money that would normally be used to buy those bags. However, customers should expect a delay while cashiers make the switch. Syracuse Senator Senator May gave us a statement regarding the bag. She says, and quote, too often we step outside and see plastic bags stuck to trees in the gutter or falling into water. This is a scourge in New York, but we still use 23 billion of them here every year. It is important that New York remove single-use bags from our daily lives. By removing them we, from stores, excuse me, we, keep, we will keep our waterways clean and ultimately reduce plastic waste in our oceans and ecosystems. I am proud that New York has made this important step, and I am so excited to see so many people are already getting in the habit of bringing their own bag. Wegmans manager Sean has also given us a tip as to how to make all this ban easier for all of us. To assist your cashier in reduced wait times, we should open up our reusable bags and set them inside of our carts so the cashiers can easily set the purchase items directly into the cart. Now on to sports. The Knicks beat the Rockets last night, 125 to 123. RJ Barrett had 27 points in the win, and James Harden had 35 points in the loss. The Knicks are 13th in the East, and the Rockets are 4th in the West. Congre congrats to senior Angelina Thomason, senior Aslan Abdullah, junior Jimmy Ferns, and sophomore Rocky L for winning the Athletes of the Week. In their final game for ESM, Angelina poured in 21 points and added 8 rebounds in a hard-fought sectional loss to New Hartford. Aslan ended his senior year with 27 wins, including a third place finish at the Division I Championships at 160. Jimmy helped lead ESM to its first semifinal berth in a decade, scoring 21 points in a 70-50 win over New Hartford in the quarters. Rocky was the Empire Division and Class A sectional champion in the triple jump. I'm Lena with sports. For more information about how plastic bags affect the environment, look up the EPA, the NCEI, or your good old reliable National Geographic. That time has come again where we must bring this show to a close. So thank you very much for watching and be sure to pick up some reusable bags before it's too late. Exactly. And for me, Katie, and Isaac, and everyone else here on The Morning Show, have a great day.